Kaduna State People's Democratic Party PDP Chairmanship Aspirant Comrade Danjuma Belo Sarki has raised concerns over the conduct of the recently concluded PDP State Congress, describing the election as fraudulent and in violation of the party's constitution. Speaking at a press conference in Kaduna, he condemned the election as manipulated to favor certain candidates, claiming that delegates were coerced into voting for pre-selected candidates on the threat. Sarki also highlighted chaotic scenes at the venue, alleging that imposters infiltrated the election, forcing delegates to surrender ballot papers, which were then filled out fraudulently, calling the process a rape of democracy. I am here today to express my sadness and grief over the charade of an election conducted by the Kaduna State People's Democratic Party, PDP, where due process was murdered for selfish interest as against the interests of the members of the party. It is important to make it known to the public that after the accreditation of delegates who by their constitutional rights are to vote, but unfortunately the names of the preferred candidates, especially for the position of the chairmanship, was written at the back of the delegates' tag and were threatened and forced to swear to agree to vote their imposed candidate. It is very unfortunate, and without mincing words, I can say categorically clear that what happened at the State Congress of the PDP in Kaduna State yesterday was nothing but a rape on democracy and an abuse of the Constitution and guidelines for the conduct of State Congresses of the PDP by anti-democratic forces who are bent on keeping our party out of power, hence the reason for my work out before the end of the voting exercise. He added that he was not defeated in a transparent election but rigged out by anti-democratic forces. He warned that such practices could prevent the PDP from reclaiming power in the 2027 gubernatorial election in Kaduna. It is very unfortunate that despite being in the opposition for about a decade and suffered three consecutive defeats in the gubernatorial election, the leadership of the party could not see reason to conduct free, fair and credible election that would usher incredible leaders with the required capacity to wrestle power from the ruling APC in Kaduna State come 2027. And if the leaders have come out in their numbers, just like they did against me yesterday to manipulate the process of the election, the PDP will not have been in the opposition in Kaduna State today. From the depth of my heart, I wish to thank my campaign team for a fantastic job. Those delegates who, who, against all odds, voted for me. Those who also wanted to vote for me, but were denied. And the leaders of the party who supported me despite the threat and intimidation. Let me also acknowledge the members of the PDP who so much believe in my capacity to transform the PDP, as well as the people of the Kaduna State who are expectant of a new vision in PDP. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.